left, actually, considering how powerful it has been. Yeah. Uh, in this current meta, like Thunder has, might be able to force something on this top rune. They are trying. Whisper's still around the area, but Topson's going to show up. Whisper actually takes the battery in away, so it is a three for one trade, but this might cost him his own life. It will just stun him up a little bit there with the rebound. The nine class will go for the body blocks. Whisper is indeed dead as Pure will be able to secure first blood. Beautiful setup here by nine class. I'm not sure why he's wrapping around. All In fact, I know why, because he's getting a double camp, or rather double creep wave. Here you go, just stack them up, get a mind flare off as well. So just continue to follow as he'll take a double. And this is exactly what you wanted to see. His Rams is going to go down bottom lane. So a very nice pick up here for Tomato. But this is exactly what you wanted to see from Ari. He doesn't have too much struggle here for the Pango quite yet. Bottom lane, nine class dropping very low here now to Seb. Looks like he's going to be okay. Tomato maybe thinking about Sakuchi past the tier one tower, but decides better off it. Meanwhile, Thompson does end up killing off BZM. Pure in the meantime, top lane ends up going down though. That's a pretty big one. They found the Broodmother. And yeah, this poor Tundra. Good moves out from the side of OG. Just this aggression out from Whisper with the level 2 Scorched Earth. And having the Hurl Boulder. A little bit of control there. And they're pretty much finding everything they'd want up top. In fact, I'd say OG's laning has felt a lot better. Even in mid, despite that. That is able to find 9 class one more time here for Seb. The bot lane's the big surprise for me. Tundra? Every time Ramses get close for a, for a wild axis to be thrown out, you see Tomato rushing with the Sakuchi to try and get some damage off onto the Beastmaster. A very challenging landing stage already here for Tundra down in this off lane. In the meantime, Topson diving again. But Ari is going to TP in to help out and does secure the life of Topson. You still lose BCM to the Caustic plus the damage of Whitemon, but... You know, you're not struggling as much as that would imply. OG, their laning start, feeling pretty good. The CS is there on Tundra with these kills. This early momentum rounds these again. Up the bottom lane. Yeah, dropping low himself, but actually ends up barely surviving as Rams is the one who wants to run away, but BZM still in the chase here on the Pangali with a rolling thunder trying to go all the way past the tier 2 towers, but decides better off. Rams is just running a little bit too... A rougher start for the Beastmaster. Again, the laning start for OG. Even though you're top on Topson and Pure in terms of CS, it does feel like the early aggression has been lining up. So they are going on to Topson. Topson is going to have the help of Wymon coming in as the epicenter does get chatted up, but Wymon never threw out the ice bar. Gonna force Topson out of there. Seb going to be trying to get some damage off, but cannot finish the job. Is now Seb in trouble. Seb goes down. Whisper also dying top lane in the meantime. So you've lost your off lane Doom in, in the Doom. And this is where that feeding frenzy facet can play in. You can sustain your spider wings much more in terms of having them in the front line. He does pick up an arcane rune, which means he wants to try and go after the master kill. But if you got rebound in one second for nine class and he barely gets it off in time. VZM still thinking about going for the dive in past the T1 tower. Does see nine class on the Marcy and does try to secure the kill and does get it. The VZM, can you find a way out now? Oh, the answers look like it might be no. He's still okay with the shield crash shield. Whitemon can't see him either. Tops in the one in trouble. BZM, he'll find Whitemon. He'll make it out. No, Meanwhile, Pure goes save. down. Top lane, they'll find the Broodmother. The insatiable does take away the bite of the spider. Are you getting some rotations out for Tundra? Maybe looking to punish Whisper here. Yeah, is here. And the caustic finale damage, my god. Uh, a bit too much though. Here comes Ari, here comes BZM, and there goes Thompson. Thompson's gone already. It happens that quickly. You've got the Nyx Assassin around. White one now being dived on the Jakiro. The egg will be committed. And White one, he can do nothing about it but watch as he will slowly burn away. And Pure, he's just heaping oh. back to the lane. Oh, OG. This is the aggression you love to see from this squad. Mostly stemming down to how much farm Ari and to an extent even Seb has. Court to core matchups aren't too bad for Tundra. Um, just down to how active they been. Almost going down. Tomato's going to go for the dive in. He wants the kill and he does get it. Time laps away, Tomato. Indeed, he will use it. And Thompson, he would not land the burrow either. Oh, and BZM, he's coming in for more. Oh, they want to commit. BZM, he'll get rolled up, but Whispers around the corner. They'll commit to do right up to Thompson. Even the egg committed just to ensure they will not try to fight back. 
is Thompson. He will survive. He will make it back towards the fountain, but that mid T1 tower will not. Nine class trying to dive in and find some kind of stun, but gets nothing. Fantastic job on OG. Ari's just been a monster on this Nyx. Oh, Ramsey's. Oh. oh. Look at this. There's no sentries either. They have no idea. Let's go. Let's go back, Ramsey's. Oh. Oh, no chance. What can you do? There's just no chance. Yeah. Can just further out that burst play that he's already getting done. No durability just yet on Tundra. Lots of squishy targets. Well, they're at least going to find Seth. Uh, Seth trying to sneak in, maybe for some deep vision by that Dire Tormentor. Will not be able to get away with it. It will take him out immediately. But that is just a position five. Phoenix, not too big of a deal. OG won't mind seeing that too much. Under on the other hand, seeing that kill, they will smoke up a meaning, even finding themselves a Weaver now. Can they burst him down? They can. Tomato is gone. That's a big one. Cool potential if he so wishes. Smoke up from Tundra, but it could be some very awkward timing for themselves. They do have the Axe on Rams at the very least. Instead, he's gonna bait them in. Whisper, he'll jump in for a Doom on the Beastmaster, but he's already lost Seth, and now oh. he's lost Zone Life. They weren't expecting the smoke right behind Pure. The two heroes going down for OG, and now Tundra, they can start to apply pressure. And keep up with the Prude Mother. As great as that jump. No, uh, no inequality when it comes to the bugs. Oh, high class. Still gonna jump in though. Does find a nice rebound onto that next assassin. So Ari is gone. Here comes Thompson right onto Sep, but they might need to back out of here. Tundra is that drop a little bit low. The egg is down from Sep. There's nobody focusing it either. Nine class trying to move in, but it's not good enough. Oh. It was one hit away. Meanwhile, Thompson trying to run, but whispers of the chase of the chain lightning creep. Thompson just about to drop. The Swords Ooh. will not connect though. He'll survive. Oh. He'll jump back in. Thompson with the borrow strike, but he will go down a whisper. You know what? Still trying to get out of there. We'll be okay for now though. Ramses does jump back in for Aurora to BZM. He'll take down the Pango. We are going to need a little bit more. Maybe once Ramses has Blink BKB, even just the Blink. Perhaps this, this becomes a little bit comfier for him to respond into in comparison to that last engage. Oh, he fight. Never mind. He's good enough. He's got his team. Here comes Thompson with a three-man borrow and a two-man rebound from Line Class. You've already lost Ari. You've lost Whisper. And Tundra, they'd love a little bit more, but everyone else has left the building. It's still nothing to be scoffed at. Ari was worth 312 plus 420. Nice tomorrow strike from Thompson. Ramsey's, he's in as well with the raw round up to BZM. So BZM just dropping so down low already. He'll be able to swap oh. buckle, but not for long. He is down a pure. Seb now getting tipped by Night Class. Spiderlings with the insatiable hunger. Like you cannot underestimate how tanky these spiderlings suddenly feel like when you have insatiable hunger. Right. BZM caught out again. BZM. Just annihilated here as they are taking no risk. Galing damage on hand for our Jakiro. Which is nice to see. They are pinging out Ramses once again. BKB is still lacking the recipe, so he's a little easy target. Just gonna pop the roar immediately. I mean, there are TPs coming, but they are gonna be all too late, I think, as Ramses, he will lose his first life. Here comes the rest of Tundra, though. Thompson, he's on to Ari already. Egg drop by Sep. Is it gonna be able to get off in time? It does. Ramses and Nine Class both going down. Meanwhile, Ari, he does drop a Thompson. He gets through Duff now. He can't do much to help out. Pure is gonna rush in anyway. He'll try to go for the man fight on his own, but can he do it? It's 1v5 Pure. He'll get out of there, the smiley face from Seb! <laughs> trying to get out, Whisper with the shivers, trying to scout him out, but they cannot. Pure is still fine, the tomato. He's a fast fight. <laughs> if Whisper lands it on the right target in these fights, he can't change it because of the He's barely going to be able to rebound away. Under, they are going to group up here, they're looking at Tomato, Rory's out, they've already got the Weaver, he comes Whisper, but the Zahn's immediately out from Pure. Not going to allow the Doom to be committed here by Whisper as the Egg is down from Seth, but it's immediately bursted. OG falling apart here in this team fight. We'll lose Ari on top, Whisper's brought back, but it's all too late. The fight's over, or is it? Easy M, thinking about a rolling Thunder. Tomato thinking about going back in. Thunder, they're still hanging about. Thompson's ready with the blink burrow strike if necessary, but Tomato, I don't know if you can show 
They will not. They will retreat to secure Roche sneakily if they want. They are under vision here from the side of Tundra. Cliff Warrants on top jungle does give information that they have been hanging about here. Smoke flank from OG. Yeah, and if they get a good doom here. But the jump is there onto the Weaver already. And he is gone. The Mano is down. Easier will rush forward with the Rolling Thunder, but it's going to do no good. Big Hibbies were out. Whisper will die. That's a tieback on the turn. Jesus. Out here for the side of OG. This is not life stealing, but he still has the bonus damage. He can move in and out of these engagements. They managed to snipe Seb after tipping him earlier as well. And they... Oh, Mari. Oh, that's getting caught out. The force up wall out to get away, but they've already caught the Weaver again. The Bardo. The Bardo is gone. Easy M trying to get his way out with the Rolling Thunder. Looks like he will be okay. But... Who have they got? It's going to be the Knicks. Ari is gone. Back is out. Oh. Ari's gonna rejoin. Whisper in the meantime. He's got to do that onto Rams already, but Rams has no roar anyway. He's got no spots to throw out. Whisper's already down. They've already caught the Weaver. tomato has gone on top. This is an absolute disastrous fight. They're still trying here at OG, but it's already over. Easy I'm trying to get out, but the roar is done from Rams. He's set the only one left. Here in Chris Dive around, trying to buy a bit of time, and Seb is set to fall. He will wave his friends goodbye. Now Ultra Kill Pure, it's GG is called. Once they get on top of